it's Paul Feuerstein, editor-in-chief of Dentistry Today magazine. And boy, am I a lucky guy to have a good friend of mine, Carla Cohen, Dr. Carla Cohen here with me today. How are you, Carla? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. How are you? Oh, pretty good. We're, we're kind of distant from each other. I'm in the Boston area and Carla's up in Winnipeg, Canada. Um, so the, the beautiful thing is my relationship with Carla has always been, I just adore you for many, many reasons, personally, but professionally. Uh, many of us GPs go, God bless the pediatric dentists. <laughs> uh, you, you take on processes and projects that we just cringe at sometimes and you make it look so easy. And uh, so, so tell me a little bit about your practice and, and what you do in, in, uh, in, in pediatric dentistry, first of all. Sure. So um, again, thanks for having me. It's great, great to talk to you and, and to see you. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> it, <laughs> um, so I've been a dentist for 30 years now, and um, I'm actually a general dentist limited to pediatric dentistry. So I did my, my training and then I did a, a pediatric dental internship at the end of of my uh, general dentistry and uh, just love seeing kids because I think that they are the, the best patients by far. So um, my career has spanned lots of, of different locations and places and, you know, rural dentistry and then, you know, right into the heart of, uh, of the city dentistry. Um, and my uh, speaking and my teaching has been about, oh, I guess, about 12 years now. So I, I love to also uh, lecture and give hands-on courses and look forward to the day where I can do uh, that live again. Um, and, and also trial products. So part of all of this is that I get to be a key opinion leader that that somebody has given me the name of, which is quite nice and and try new products and and get to see how they work and talk about them and teach them as well. And uh, as, as, as we'll make a note here, you've also written me a very, very nice article uh, about some, some using uh, some, pro some products. We'll discuss that in a couple of minutes, but I have, I have a different question. So. In this past year, things have changed quite a bit in the world, and you've had to make changes in the practice too. And so, how do, how have you been able to modify the the dental physical dental practice so that it's not a frightening experience to the kids? I mean, all of a sudden we're covered with all sorts of weird things, and you know, yeah. look like Darth Vader's working on your kids. Yeah. So, uh, so how, how have you how have you approached that? Yeah, that's that's a, a, a great point. It's been a, a year or more of pivot for us all. And uh, yeah, coming at, coming at, first of all, coming at a child patient, you know, with just a mask in your loops can be frightening enough. And then you put on all of this rest, respirator and a face shield and it, it can be super intimidating. So, it, you know, we just need to, to work a lot harder to be able to make that connection with our patients. And so for the patients that I have that are existing patients, that that's easy um, because they already know me, I know them. Uh, but for new patients coming into the practice, it, it has been definitely something that has been a challenge to get down to their level, make that eye contact and, and really uh, create that rapport before you even get into their personal space and, and start to become something that might be intimidating to them. You, you want to break that intimidation barrier before you even approach too close, right? Yeah, and, and one of the issues that, you know, you lose the contact of, I mean, there's times that I'll take off a mask, not, not, not right now, prior, yeah. but I can smile and say something. Yeah. And this, I'm sure you've done the same thing as myself, is I'll have the mask on and I'll say to somebody, go, now bite like this. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've, we've all gone through it. So, uh, I mean, things are opening up a little bit I, and, and things should be getting better. Uh, the, the, the big thing, as we said right at the outset, is that we haven't seen each other in so long because usually we bump into each other in a hallway or some place yep. meeting somewhere. And that's been a challenge in general. And, and, it has. You know, and, you know, I, ex I keep you as part of my extended family. I have my own personal family. I haven't seen many people in my own family either. So right. it's really been, it's been quite something. So, um, and, and, and so let's go back to the, uh, the article that it was a very interesting article because, first of all, I was pretty impressed that you could have a child sitting in the chair and do a restoration with a band and, else. <laughs> and we're sitting there going, wow, you know, how'd you do that? So um, one of the things is a little bit of speed is involved here too. You have to be pretty efficient because I mean, even, even the most cooperative child 
has a, a limited attention span, obviously. Right. Um, so both of us uh, over the last year or two have come across a new product from Tokiyama, which was called Omnichroma. And from myself as a GP and a restorative dentist, the beautiful thing about Omnichroma was it, it was a very, very good material, but it, it shade matches like, like magic. It's a, like a magic shade matching material. It goes from like A1 to D4 with really no problems. And so uh, restoratively, we've been using it for uh, all sorts of things. And if there's a very, very dark substructure, we'll put a little bit of an opaque below it, but it's been really kind of the, you know, the invisible filling. But what they did in just recently is they took that and they changed it, that didn't change it, they added a flowable to it. And this was the crux, I think, of the article. So let's talk about the, the, the process a little bit and, and how that little flowable aspect has really helped out in, in what you've been doing. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So, uh, you know, as you said, Tokiyama Dental America, they have some great products, you know, start my one of my very first products that I, I trialed when I was uh, beginning my KOL career was their Estelite. Okay. And, uh, you know, that was that was fantastic. And then they came out with the Omnichroma. And that was, that was really a, a turning point for composites and, and how they they had that shade match, like you said, was, was like magic, it was it was seamless, uh, where it match shades you know all the way from a1 to d4 and and traditionally when i'm doing composite restorations for kids with our our normal composite packable type of materials you know it, it's a process of you know there's a layer of flowable and then there's the packable and it takes time so as he said you got you got to be quick with kids you know even your cooperative kids they you know have a time span where they can they're still cooperative before it turns on you um so it's a bit of a process when when tokiyama uh, dental america came up with the omnichroma flow uh then that that really started to to push things in in my my practice where I'm starting to uh, move away from packables and just do my restorations with straight flowables because uh, these flowables now have uh, mechanical properties that allow that. You know, it's it's got the strength that I can do a uh, moderate size class one or class two restoration uh, simply with the Omnichroma flow because it's got such great properties and that makes things so much faster the ability for the flowable to adapt to the cavity preparation and uh, you know no no need to worry about voids of course proper technique is is paramount and and isolation and i talk about that in my article and you know one of the main things that we got to remember when we're treating kids is you got to be able to complete the procedure that you have planned. And if their cooperation doesn't allow, then you got to move to a different procedure, start thinking out of the box, you know, using things that are going to allow you to complete a procedure. Yeah, I think one of the points you bring up is that this is not your old flow. This is, it's just the same material in a flowable form. So you still have all the properties, the compressive strength, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So you can use it for these, for these restorations. And, um, and again, in, in my own practice, when we're doing, you know, some large demo Ds or whatever we're doing, you're putting a little bit of flowable just to seal the, the base by the band and then using right. the material on top. And there's a step, step one, step two. This way, you know, you're getting it all wetted down to the bottom, you're sealing all your margins and fill it up to the top and set it. And luckily, I mean, you know, pediatric teeth are smaller and the, the light will cure through the, the depth of it pretty yeah. quickly. So that's yeah. not a big issue. You're not doing 10 millimeters down into a root structure or something like that. Yeah. But Ab absolutely. And, you know, and, and that's a great point, too, because if you actually physically measure to the depth of the box in a pediatric tooth and a primary tooth, you're, you're four millimeters, maybe five millimeters in depth. And, and of course, the, the great thing, too, is I like never in my career have I ever put in a whole lot of anatomy in a primary tooth. What for? There, there is no, no reason. We, you know, we want this tooth to be functional. We want, you know, that, that patient to have some, you know, some aesthetics to it, 
but you know, I'm, I'm not putting in grooves and staining and, and, and sculpting. So, you know, it, it's a, a common sense would say, hey, let's, let's use some of our flowable materials and, and make this work. And there's clinical trials and there's evidence that I've got um, in that article that support the use of flowables for this type of restoration. So, and, and it's a mindset that we've got too as dentists. We're, we're very set in our ways uh, for the most part. And, you know, we're doing something one way and it's working. And, and then we start thinking, well, why, why should I change? Well, you, you need to change with the times. You need to see what's new out there. You need to see how products and our materials have evolved. And you, you need to make uh, your life better, your patient's life better. So, so it's important to keep an open mind too, and not just continue doing the same materials that you do because that's how you've done it for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. So in, in the article, which is, by the way, it's in the May issue. So the article actually comes out in print in May and also will be online at dentistrytoday.com. So uh, anybody can access this pretty easily. So one of the, one of the, uh, the photos I, I was, as I was reading it through, I looked at it and said, hmm, you, you put a band on the tooth and when you put the flowbill in, it was sort of sticking out to the adjacent prep and you very carefully said, and then we take the band off and make the, and fix the contact right afterwards. Right. <laughs> You know, because people say, well, what'd you do there? So it's yeah. it's not just, I mean, this is real. I mean, hey, folks, this is real restorative dentistry. It's little, but it's real restorative dentistry. Right. With contacts and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. And, and in particular, in, in that case study that I've got in the article too, uh, the tooth adjacent to it is, uh, it, it will be prepped for a crown. And, and so my contact point is going to change completely in that particular situation. Um, but, but I also wanted to mention too, because we're talking about bands and contacts and all the rest of that. And, and I do use sectional matrices all the time when wow. I'm doing my restorative dentistry. And it's important not just for an interproximal contact, because in this particular case study, as I said, that's, that's all going to change. Um, but it's important for the base of that restoration. And when you get right down to the, the gingival box, it's important that that area is sealed completely. And these sectional matrix systems, so this one in this particular case study is, is the Garrison product. Uh, I mean, they're fantastic at that, because if you don't have a seal down there, you're going to get leakage of the curricular fluids and you're going to get uh, failure of your restoration. Well, plus, if you don't have, especially in, in, in your world, <laughs> your world, <laughs> um, it, it, you know, dentists sometimes say, well, I'll just, I'll just do whatever. And, and it doesn't matter if there's a contact at all. Well, you know, you can still have food impaction and the teeth are going to shift. Yeah, so you really absolutely. Have to <laughs> uh, absolutely. And, 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 you know, it's, it, I'll, I'll often talk about um, pr primary dentition and mixed dentition as being fluid. And so we are, uh, we're doing our, our restorations and we are, um, we, we've got some, some contacts, but we've got that beautiful benefit of how things are completely going to be moving and changing over time. So it's a, it's an, a, a fantastic, I mean, maybe that's why I, I like to see kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, Carl, you know, this has just been just, it's just great seeing you and, and just talking through these things and get some things off my chest. <laughs> so, um, and it's so, great so, to see you as well. So a couple of things, uh, if, if people wanted to know more about the, the, the restorative material, uh, Tokiyama is a, is a website. I think it's tokiyama.us.com. Let's just go splash that on the screen. And uh, you have a nice Instagram following. So if you want to track you down, where would they find you? Yeah. So Instagram is, is a great place to find me, um, not only to get in touch with me, but to, to see a lot of these clinical cases, because I'll, I'll post what I'm doing as, as I'm doing it. So my Instagram is kids dentist Carla, and you can uh, follow me. I'd love to have a whole lot more followers still, and you can uh, DM me on that too. Let's do it. Awesome. All right. What a pleasure. Thanks a lot for, for spending some time with me and stay safe and healthy and everything else and take care of those kids for us. <laughs> oh, thank you. Pleasure is mine. And you take care and stay safe as well. All right. Okay.